We're cereal ballsy out of New York City. I mean, being honored by this from <laughs> New York. Uh, Tom from New York. I'm Tom. The drummer. I play drums in cereal ballsy. I'm the singer. That's Mel. I'm Mel. I play the bass. Yeah. Uh, we have a guitarist named Jason. We started in New York, hanging out, skateboarding, eating pizza. We've come a long way. When we first started, there was such a, such hype. There was, you know, people thought we were the, the young black fat band, and um, I think we've uh, totally ridden through that. And whether people were looking at us or not, whether the hype was there or not, whether the blogs followed us or not, we were on the road at the local pub or at the local venue playing our music, and um, people have responded well. I think it's more so a testament to us, to the guys in this band, that we can ride through the winters and the summers and the bummers and the highs and do what we do. We've come such a long way. Yeah, our first album, which is self-titled, which came out in uh, 2011. Yeah. This past year, 2014, we released uh, our second record, Jaden and Faded, on Cult Records. And um, we just got off the road with Julian Casablancas and the Voids. And um, just before that, we were in Europe for a month with our good friends in the band Off from California, which consists of like awesome like mix of veteran punk rocker dudes, um, including Keith Morris from Black Flag. They've been like our, our like big brothers, sort of carrying us through all these cool tours that we've done. And that was our first one we did with them in Europe. But yeah, we've pretty much been on the road non-stop this whole year and we've just recently sort of taken a break from that. We've been truly blessed in a sense to work with such a varying array of artists. It's such a roundabout, it's existentially, exponentially amazing that we can work with people like that, that we hold in such high regard and they hold us in high regard. People that started with such mundane almost beginnings, you know, started pretty much at the local deli. And for us to be playing with the strokes and the flag and off and you know, countless other bands, you know, we've made such great, amazing friends along the way. I think we're really excited to uh, take a step back, away from the road, away from the band, away from the plans, and just uh, get back to writing like we initially did. And the end of the day, we're just artists that are still to create. Also, it's winter now, and I'd much rather be writing in the winter than touring. Yeah. We have a term called uh, post tour stress disorder. Just because uh, <laughs> we, we deal with so many things, you know, whether it be meeting 50 people a day, seeing a new place every day, seeing a new city every day, and that's half the beauty of it as well. I'm so glad that we presented something that some people actually understand, and that's the greatest compliment as an artist, is to convey something that we made and that people understand, and a lot of people don't, and a lot of people never will, and a lot of people hit our guts, but we don't give a fuck about them, we give a fuck about you, the, kid, the kids that like us, and we appreciate that. Don't listen to what people tell you to do, and uh, do the shit that you like to do, and you won't have to worry about it much. Yeah, haters gonna hate, but you know, shit, we out here, still running. Mm -hmm. I keep it going too.